Through Discord communication platform, the Russian military in particular received videos from reconnaissance drones, but Russian Roskomnadzor has blocked the operation of the Discord social platform in the territory controlled by the Russian Federation. This disrupted the work of many Russian military personnel who used the platform to conduct frontline operations, writes the Washington Post. Discord is a popular platform for real-time communication that combines many useful features, including online broadcasting. The blocking of the service in Russia caused discontent among the Russian military, which actively uses this platform to coordinate its units on the battlefield in Ukraine. Russian war bloggers, many of whom have direct contact with frontline units, complain that Roskomnadzor's decision caught Russian troops off guard and left them without proper communication. It was necessary to create a replacement and warn the commanders about the plans that the work at the front was not disrupted in one moment. This is called seeing a little further than one's nose, wrote one of the bloggers. From a military point of view, the main problem with the Discord ban is not even that some command posts may be left without broadcasting from drones, said military blogger Mikhail Zavinchuk in a post on his popular Telegram channel, Rybar, but that the relevant department of the Ministry of Defense does not seek to provide any alternative to the troops. According to Zvinchuk, similar systems that the military could use have been in development in Russia, but the Defense Ministry has failed to incorporate them in daily operations. In the absence of centralized provision of specialized software, the command will use available Western commercial services to organize combat control as they have to fight somehow, he said and then everything develops according to a familiar scenario. The bureaucrats suddenly realize that the servers of these programs, what a coincidence, are located in NATO countries and the data is flowing online to where it should not go. And then the authorized body is given the order to abruptly cut everything off in one swoop. Although Discord was originally conceived as a social platform for gamers, its functionality for stable streaming of audio and video between large groups of people turned out to be useful for both the armed forces and the Russian army, the publication notes. From a military point of view, the main problem with the Discord ban is not even that some command posts may be left without broadcasting from drones, but that the relevant department of the Ministry of Defense does not want to provide the troops with an alternative. Another popular Z blogger complains. He notes that in the absence of an alternative, the Russian troops are forced to use the available Western commercial services because you have to fight. Russian intelligence is aiming to stir up chaos on the streets of Britain and Europe. According to MI5, the country now faces one of the biggest threats in its history, driven by Russia, Iran and extremist groups. This was stated by Ken McCallum, head of the British counterintelligence service MI5, as reported by Radio Svoboda. He explained that after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, over 750 Russian diplomats were expelled from Europe, many of whom, he said, were spies. McCallum believes that this has weakened Russia's intelligence operations, forcing them to enlist criminal networks and third country nationals to carry out arson, sabotage and other actions. Despite these setbacks, McCallum stressed that Russian intelligence has not given up on its mission to create chaos. He didn't specify exact details, but in recent months, UK and European authorities have reported multiple suspected sabotage incidents, allegedly orchestrated by Russian agents alongside the exposure of several plots aimed at carrying out sabotage. Russian officials, however, deny involvement in these acts, accusing London of trying to whip up anti-Russian hysteria. McCallum also noted that since 2022, British intelligence and police have thwarted 20 Iranian-backed plots, some involving planned assassinations. Meanwhile, China's intelligence service focused mainly on industrial and scientific espionage. The MI5 chief concluded that the mix of terrorism threats and espionage from hostile states makes his agency's job incredibly complex. Politico also reports that Norway's intelligence chief raised alarms over Russian sabotage in Europe, warning that the Kremlin is becoming increasingly bold in its hybrid warfare tactics. The risk level has changed. Vice Admiral Nils Andreas Stensons, who is head of the Norwegian intelligence service, told Reuters, 
We believe sabotage is more likely, and we see acts of sabotage happening in Europe now, which indicates that they have moved a bit on that scale. Stenson's added, referring to Moscow. Western intelligence agencies have increasingly warned of the threat of Russian espionage since the Kremlin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began in early 2022. According to reports, Russian saboteurs allegedly set fire to a large factory in Berlin belonging to a defense manufacturer in May in an effort to disrupt arms shipments to Kyiv.